Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a nice summer look, not a summer look, a spring look because it's getting nice and light, the birds are twerping and the, the air is fresh and I get really inspired this time of year I think I go into hibernation in the winter and I don't feel like doing anything but I can feel that it's getting better because I feel like I'm coming alive again so we're going to be doing a spring kind of colour look and I really hope you enjoy now I've already done one light to save some time and it's got a little bit of blue on the bottom a nice kind of white lemon colour mixed with golden orange mixed with a bit of brown and I really hope you enjoy I've already primed the top of my eyelid and up to the eyebrow bone with this and it's the MAC Shark Shade Stick I keep calling it shark skin, it's not, it's beijing and then we're also going to take this, just go back over that a bit more because it's come off we're also going to take this and we're going to just gently put it on the lower lash line I'm going to zoom you in in a minute going to just put it along the lower lash line all the way along and already that opens the eye let's zoom you in horrible nice close-up of the mug right so first we're going to start with the finger mm -hmm. the finger and I'm just going to take a light lemon color now this is just a sample it's not available yet but there's lots of colors in its place there's loads of colors you can get it's just a light lemon color I'm sure the big pro palette's got them as well. I'm using my ring finger or any finger you, you require you want to use. I'm just gently, you just want to blend that into the inner corner of the eye and then I'm going to bring it up and out. So basically you're just covering the whole area with a light colour. So you're leaving all that spare. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take, where'd it go? This highlight colour here, and this is like a, a white gold. It'd be perfect if it was a max white gold. Slightly got a green tinge in, and gently, with the finger again, add a little bit under the eyebrow bone. And blend it with the yellow, the lemon. And you can see it just gives a nice little bit of a highlight to the eyebrow bone, and opens the eye up. Now this is here is... It's a funny find, and it's not a test, I thank God, the last one was. can't believe I bought it here, yeah, Muggins, but I didn't see it. This is a Collection 2000, and it's Jaffa. And it's a beautiful shimmery orange. And I'm going to be taking that with a little shadow brush. It's easy for pattern. I'm going to take that, and we're just going to gently, all over the outer part of the eyelid, and then mix the two up in between to blend together a bit a bit more and then you want to just pat it around this area here kind of pat it in and it blends itself in because you've got so many light colors going on and then bring the two down together we don't want too much orange now we're going to take a liner brush and we're going to dip it in the light colour, the light lemon we used and you're just going to gently apply it to the inner corner just going halfway in and then I'm taking a really dark blue there's a good one by MAC called Deep Truth and it's that one there so it's really shiny and sparkly I'm going to take that on the liner brush and just gently run it along the lower lash line. Now when you're doing this on the bottom lash line, I tend to find if you thicken it out at the outer corner and then thin it as you come in, it tends to work really nice and gives your eyes a nice shape. So just go slightly thicker on the outer corner. And bring it in. And then I'm going to wet wipe that off with the Pampers wet wipe. I finally got the blue liquid liner off. It didn't take, what, two days to come off? I was in BQ, getting some paint. And it was still hanging off my eye and I couldn't get it off. 
I had to hide the next day and put a different colour over the top of it. It was really embarrassing. But I got there in the end and it's all gone, thank God. Let's take the same liner brush, I've just wiped it again with the wet wipe. And take a chocolatey brown kind of colour. That one there is perfect. And I'm going to just gently take your liner brush, halfway across, steady your little finger because it really does help, halfway across the upper lash line and bring the line out. So you're only coming halfway in. If you go the full way in, what I tend to find is it makes your eyes look like like an owl. Well, it does with my eyes anyway. So I leave it right at the end. Now I did have a different brush. Where have I put it? <clears throat> this is terrible. I lose everything that I put down. I did have it somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there it is. It is a 219 by MAC. I think it's a pencil brush and they're great for blending on the outer corner. Take the same brown, any dark brown, a kind of like a black brown with sparkle. And you just want to get on the end of your brush gently blend it up and in with a orange. Just keep blending it because you don't want too much on. And put the kit down because it's getting on my wick. Now we'll put a little bit too much on. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back over with the orange. dab any extra off just gently go back over that because I don't want it too dark and then carry on blending the mistakes do happen all the time and I hope by seeing what I can do you'll see that you're not on your own always mis make mistakes me terrible half the time I get eyeshadow down my face sorry about that my camera cut off we've finished blending and we're going to do some mascara I've got a fluff on my brush off the carpet, which isn't good because then it makes your lashes look rank. So, just pull that off quick. Ew. It's horrible. Right, right. I've got a pug on my knee, a little puppy pug, who weed on my carpet. <clears throat> yes, she did. So what I've had to do is, I'm actually sitting where the wee was. And because it won't dry up very well, what I've had to do is I'm sitting on a package, a parcel package, just and it's stopping the wet from coming through. I had to get the carpet cleaner out so the carpet is soaking. And she's sitting on my knee farting, so she's just adorable. Hmm. So, yep. I've had a right fun time before I switch my camera on and do a tutorial. Over the next couple of weeks, you'll see us in a different room because I'm getting sorted into a kind of different decorated room you'll see it's all exciting but it's going to take a bit of work so it will not be revealed just yet now I'm just going to check I right, tip your head back there's so much I need to tell you because so much has been happening but if I talk when I'm doing my videos I'll end up doing something wrong and because there's so much <coughs> it won't come out right so I think a vlog is in order now, I don't know if anyone follows me on Twitter, but I do Twitter daily as best I can. And I reply as well when I can. Um, it's getting a bit hard because there's so many following now. But I do try my best. So if you want to follow us on Twitter, you'll get to see all the updates as well between the times I'm on here. Which is, I don't know, if, you want to, if you're interested and you want to keep up, it's handy. I'm going to just put a little bit, tiny bit on the lower lash line. And you can do that with your mouth. Like you've had a fright. We've got that on. We'll leave that to dry. And then we're going to do the blush. This is a different technique. And I don't know where it went. There it is. Right. My technique. It's a bit different. But it's fun. Now, this here is a cream blush. 
and they do them all over. Mac does them, Paula Dorf does them, and I'm hopefully going to be doing them. So this is just a, a pink cream blush, it's a little bit there, and I'm just going to gently dot it on my cheek, just like that. And then I'm going to blend it. Now, cream blush, I'll tell you now, if you've got dry skin and you haven't moisturised, cream blush goes horrible. It sticks to scabby bits and, and dry skin. It's just not a very good look. So you've got to be moisturised up, and preferably with your foundation on underneath. i already got a little bit of foundation on, but I prefer cream blush, blush to powder blush. So just pine a bit more. Then what I've done was take this by L'Oreal. Ooh, I've took the lid clear off. So we'll just pop that out of there. Dip it in. It's an illuminating powder. This is just something new idea for you. I also learned something at CBS from the makeup artist. I was told over the phone that to you know if you you, you go out clubbing or anywhere where you may perspire. Well. It's a good idea to put, you know, the deodorant roll-ons? Because a lot of people lose their makeup because of sweat. So putting the deodorising and perspirant roll-on along the areas where you sweat stops you from sweating. Now, I didn't even give that a thought, but I think it's an amazing idea. So that I'm definitely going to add that to my tips. And I'm not taking credit for it either. I just don't know the name of the lady. But she's from CBS. It's the makeup artist from CBS. And I'm sure that's what she does. I heard she did that. And it's a really good idea, so I'm going I'm to use it from now on. Now I'm looking for my next thing and that is, where's it gone? I keep losing these things. I think it's on the floor. It is somewhere. I think Sudi's sitting on it. Are you sitting on it? Are you? Where is it? Oh dear. It's right beside us. Terrible. This here is beautiful and I'm nearly, well I've had a good dip of it anyway. It's by Christian Dior and this is Limelight. Pro cheeks and again it's like a little foam and it's light pink and I just gently gently dab it where you would naturally get highlight that went a bit quick so you just dab it where you would gently get highlight to kind of come around from this area here and along and if you want you can put a little bit down the middle of the nose and then not the chin but for me that makes me look too shiny and greasy so I think I'll take it a miss the lips I did was I did have it out and just use the same thing as I had on my lips on my cheeks sorry and that was the cream blush with a bit of so I use the cream blush there that kind of cream blush and it's just like a rosy a rosy terracotta and then we'll put this on for gloss and the camera's gone funny this is by Benefit and it's her glossiness and I absolutely love it. Life on the ear list, it tastes nice as well. And it just gives a nice neutral kind of look to the lips. You don't have, there's not too much. But there you have it. And I really hope you enjoy my springtime makeup look. And it's quite nice I like it and it's like kind of lively because I feel lively at the moment there's loads to tell you and I will tell you all soon I don't want to bombard it in one video because it is a hell of a lot to keep up with um I just don't want to go bore you with the talk video so I'm trying to do makeup looks because I want everyone to be happy but I feel like I'm not including you because I'm not talking to you about what's happening but the next step is probably going to be there's two more pages going to be added to the website by lauren.com and you'll see all the products they've all been photog photographed and they're all up ready to have a look at I don't know if you can pre-order them yet but it's coming soon that's one of the things and I'm going to get business cards made so with the same design which I'm really happy about because I don't have a business card I'm meeting all these people and I don't and I've got to write it down on paper it doesn't look good but anyway that's me um what else oh it's so much that kind of fitted in the end of this video uh, yeah saturday tomorrow i'm going to london and i'm going to be on sunrise in australia um i'm going to be filming from the pacific studios in london tomorrow 